Hi, I'm Mickey Zeta and I am here to talk about something that, uh, you know, it occurred to me today and I thought, there's a good topic, there's a good topic to talk about. What happened is, I'm in Florida and I flew down on Saturday and I spoke on Sunday. I was part of a panel at a women's expo in Ocala. It was fabulous. If you were there, I'm sure you took away all kinds of things. I think lives were actually changed at that event. It was terrific. Hi, Ellen. Glad to have you here. So here I am in Florida. I'm pretty much uh, taking a play week, I'm calling it. I'm doing a lot of work and uh, things that I have to do, things that, that I'm programmed to do, uh, like this live video. But today we went to the beach. We slept in. We went to the beach. I didn't do too much work on Facebook or any of the other things, live uh, um What's that other one called? Uh, LinkedIn or any of those things. Hi, Alyssa. Glad to have you here. So I'm doing the things that I have to do this week, the things that I'm, I do regularly, like live video on Sunday and on Wednesday, and, um, and I speak uh, on the Warriors group on Fridays, and um, there, there's, uh, I have a mastermind on Tuesdays that I go to, and this weekend we're going to a retreat, a mastermind retreat in, in uh, Orlando. So those are the things I'm doing even though I'm on vacation. But what I discovered, as I said, I talked on Sunday at, at a women's event, a women's um, expo, and what I discovered today is what's nagging me. We humans, you know what we do? We let things nag us. We, it's different than a toleration. Hi, Jan. Glad to have you here. It's different than a toleration. It's kind of a nagging thing that just kind of pops up in our heads, pops up in our heads. Well, today I'm sitting at the beach. We're relaxing. It's sunny. It's gorgeous. I'm loving the warm sun and the sounds of the ocean. Alan and I are sitting there in separate chairs holding hands. It was great. And you know what kept popping in my head? The thing that nagged me all day long? It was, hmm... You know what? I did not say this on Sunday. I, w I meant to talk about synapses and I didn't do that. And I meant to uh, review a couple of other personal experiences, personal lessons, and I didn't do that. I thought all day long, not consistently, but the nagging thing was that things I didn't say on Sunday when I spoke. Now, my talk went great. It was well received. I'm happy with it. I'm real happy with it. But my brain knows what I was going to say, what I plan to say. What I know, what I know in my heart and in my life is I said the things that were supposed to be said and the audience responded extremely well. They paid attention. There were a couple of tears. There was a lot of head nodding. It was good. It was really good. So why am I doing that to myself? And that is human. That is human, and that's what we do. We let things nag, nag, nag at us. A toleration is a different thing because nagging normally, not there's nothing normal about nagging. <laughs> Generally, nagging is things that we did and we can't change them, like on Sunday. Yeah, stop that negative self-chatter. <laughs> Jan's right. Stop that negative self-chatter, and that's what I would tell any clients. Don't do that. Let it go. Let it go. You can't change it. And that's the part. That's the part about nagging. It's always things that we can't change. It's things that happened in the past and we replay it, replay it, replay it. And as Jan said, we allow that negative self-talk to hop in there. I know that my talk on Sunday was well received. It was good. It was fun. It was, it was great. But my mind is saying, yeah, but you didn't say this. Yeah, but you didn't say that. Yeah, but you forgot this part. And why do we do that? Why do we allow that nagging? So I'm going to suggest exactly what Jen said. Stop that negative self-talk, the monkey chatter that goes on in our heads. Um, don't nag yourself. You, don't, you wouldn't nag your spouse. You wouldn't nag your friend. You wouldn't nag your uh, anybody, your coworker. You don't do that, but we do it to ourselves. So when you find yourself nagging at yourself, just uh, take a moment and stop and, and remember that the past was two seconds ago. The past was when I started this video. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, I could edit the video, but, but what I've said, I've said, and what I've done, I've done, and it's over. So then I deal with it. Then I get to deal with it, and that's the fun part of life. We, we create our own reality, and uh, I'm going to choose that my reality this evening is no longer no longer um, going to be l allowing myself to nag at myself. So whatever you're allowing yourself to nag at today, as Jan said, don't build a condo there. 
<laughs> That's one of my favorite lines. When, you're, when you've got this negative stuff going on in your head, just keep on moving. Keep on moving. Don't build a condo there. <laughs> okay, so I'm telling myself, Mickey, stop building a condo there. Let it go and go forward. So whatever's that letting you, um, whatever you're allowing your, yourself to nag yourself about today, let it go. Don't build a condo there. Take that, take that advice. Do what I'm cho uh, choosing to do now and just let it go. Just let it go. Know that you did the best that you could at whatever it was. And, uh, and next time might be different. Next time might be considered better. But we always do the best that we can. So stop nagging. Stop nagging. I'm telling myself, you know, you teach what you need to learn. <laughs> That's my lesson for today. I'm Mickey Zeta. I'm so glad to have you here with me tonight. It's uh, Wednesday night, live with Mickey. I'm here every Wednesday and every Sunday at 7.30 Eastern Time, so hope you'll come back. My website is survivingabusenetwork.com, survivingabusenetwork.com, and you can watch live videos, listen to podcasts, read blog posts. There's a lot of support there for any anybody going through uh, surviving abuse, whether you're living in abuse or you're, or you're um, uh, have already left or you're planning on leaving, pretty much my niche is women who have left abuse. But I'm attracting a lot of women who haven't left yet or who have recently left um, and are younger. Uh, normally I, I work with older women, but I'm attracting a lot of young women. So that's great. That makes me feel good. All right. Um, also, I have a Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Surviving Abuse Network. So if you enjoy the videos, if you want to support the podcast, if this is something you get value from, I would really appreciate you becoming a patron of Surviving Abuse Network on Patreon. I appreciate that too. So go to my website, survivingabusenetwork.com. Check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. The podcast is pretty much stories, oh, a lot of stories from different women telling their own experiences, living in domestic abuse and getting out, creating wonderful lives afterward. There is hope. There is good stuff on the other side of living in abuse so all we have to do is go for it do the work uh, create create the life that we want to live create our authentic life I'll be back on Sunday uh, I don't think I'll be back before then because we'll be in Orlando at a conference but I'm excited to see you on Sunday 730 I'll probably be in an airport <laughs> that should be interesting all right thanks for being here I appreciate it talk to you soon